people on our roads and in our homes today. Gusts were up to 60 miles an hour in some spots. Amy Reed joins us now to show us what that looks like. Amy. Hopefully you listen to law enforcement warnings and this will be your first view of Wisconsin roads today. We dealt with a little bit of everything. Snow, ice, wind, but even those who stayed home, you couldn't really escape what the winds had in store today. Travel not advised on I-94. While not impossible. Ice covered on I-94. Driving in Wisconsin today wasn't exactly fun, especially if you had to tackle the whole state like Yvette Pearson, who drove from Chippewa Falls to Janesville. It was pretty scary driving on that for quite a while, but it did finally get a little bit better, but it was... It was pretty scary driving for a while. Yeah, icy roads, snow drifts, high winds, and jackknife semis. It's the stuff out of driving nightmares. Even keeping a camera steady was difficult in these conditions. So you can imagine the havoc this created for our power lines. At one point, forcing 11,000 people in Wisconsin to go without electricity, while Alliant Energy crews worked to get them back online. Some areas in Wisconsin are still without power, even as temperatures dip. We're working as quickly as we safely can. Um, in these conditions, there's still uh, low visibility. There's snow continuing to come down. We have tree branches, and so our crews have to be safe working around that while we do everything we can to get customer service back on. Some dealing with roads are at least fortunate enough to take matters into their own hands, driving John Deere's while snow plows are busy. But in those spots where patience is key, take it from the woman who drove all the roads today. I would say if you're heading north, don't do it. Just give it another day or so. <laughs> Let them clear it up because the snow plows were just huge piles of snow they were moving. It was actually pretty impressive. but. It was still, there was still no side to the road. It was still just the two lanes, even with them doing all that. Alliant Energy said they are doing their best to get power back on in these areas in northern Wisconsin. But they did say, as a reminder, if you see a winter storm is coming, that's a good time to make sure everything you could need is charged and you have flashlights and blankets in case you lose power. All right. Thank you so much, Amy. A deadly pileup on Interstate 41 near Nina today involving more than 130 cars.